My dude and dude ass, the Milwaukee tour that everybody has been talking about is finally here. What's going on everybody? My name is Clint and welcome to the Tool Review Zone channel. Now Milwaukee has been releasing all kind of new tools ever since we brought you the Milwaukee Pipeline event. Well, we've been seeing them flood the market, which is a really good thing. And this is one of them. This is the Milwaukee Top Off. Now, usually you're used to seeing drills and saws and all kind of stuff like that from Milwaukee, but Milwaukee is really coming out with some really cool things, and we're going to talk about this one specifically today. The Milwaukee Top Off is one of those tools that is just really cool. You know, it really helps you around the shop or out on the construction site, allows you to do a lot of different things that you're not usually able to do. And I'm going to show you how this thing works. We're going to set it up. We're going to talk about its limitations as well. But I can't wait to bring this to you. A lot of people have been talking about it, and it's just a really cool device. Now, before we get started, if you like power tools, you like Milwaukee, get subscribed, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos that we're going to have for you. All right, so let's go over this a little bit. This is the Milwaukee 175 watt power supply. Now this runs off of an M18 battery. We're using the 12AH battery, the big boy. We really want to put this thing to the test, but you can run it off of any M18. It doesn't matter if it's a 3AH. I like using the high output battery because it just seems like it does a better job. But all you do is basically take this and that's it it is ready to go so basically what we're going to do today is we're going to take the questions that a lot of the subscribers had what is this thing capable of what is it not capable of we are actually going to test it out on a lot of different things to see if it is able to do what some are hoping it can do now let's take a look at this real quick up on top of this unit you're going to have an outlet you're going to have a usb that's a usb a port and then you're also going to have a usb c right here now to turn this on pretty simple if i want to use my outlet right here i just push a little button for the outlet and it automatically turns it on if i want to use the usb i just push that button right there and yeah i can use all three at the same time if i don't want to use the outlet just push that it shuts it off or if i don't want to use the usb push that and it shuts off now everything is off again if i want to turn it on simply push those buttons and we're ready to go. Now, one other thing I want to point out before I forget is this rafter hook. I'm really happy they put this on if you're using soft horses or you're around the shop or the work site, check that out. Now you can hang this, you don't have to worry about falling off because it does get a little bit heavy, especially with this larger battery. So if it's not stable, you don't have to worry about this falling off your work site and busting. That said, you do have a really solid build up on top. You even have a little fan right here that's gonna help keep this thing cool. All right, so let's start out with something simple. Now right here I got myself a Samsung telephone. Now this is pretty basic and simple, but all I'm going to do is take my USB, plug that right in there like so. Now I'm gonna take my cord, and I'm gonna plug it into my telephone. Now here's what I found. My wife, she likes iPhone, whatever. I use a Samsung. With the Samsung, this is an S9 Plus, whatever. Long story short, I noticed that on my Samsung, it charges extremely fast. Probably the fastest charger. I used to say that the M12 charger was the fastest portable charger. No, this is the fastest freaking portable charger. When you put a Samsung device on this thing, it is blistering fast when it comes to charging. Insane. But that said, remember, it depends on what kind of charging cable you have. I have a C and it's also a pretty heavy duty one. So if you get a chintzy one, well, it's going to take longer. And even though my wife's iPhone and iPads charge fast, it's not as fast as it is with the Samsung devices. But what about my computer? Well, all I had to do is make sure that that's turned on, like so. My cord's plugged into the computer. Plug it in, and that's it. It is now charging. So what's cool about this now is if you're a supervisor or working out in the field, maybe a safety guy, whatever, you have access to not only charging your phone, but you're running your laptop at the same time, which is freaking awesome. And if you're using the monstrous HD12 battery, well, it's going to last you a long time. Now, one of the big questions I had from a lot of people leaving comments on some of the posts we did for this already was, will it charge another battery? We're going to find out. Well, we're going to go with just an M12. Maybe you want to charge up a couple batteries for your jackets. Other people want to charge their phones or whatever. Maybe you're out in the middle of the wilderness and you need to charge these, but you only have a couple of these and you don't have a battery. Whatever. So we're going to take this. We're going to plug it right in like so. We're just gonna hit that little outlet button. Boom, there you go. So the answer to your question, will it charge other M18 batteries, or any battery for that matter? Yes, it will. But will it run my television? Yes, it will. 
So yeah, what's cool about this is you can run your televisions, you can run little fans, you can charge up camera equipment, obviously the telephones, but I wanna talk about a couple other things, and then we'll talk about some of the limitations after I show you a couple more things. So how about lighting? Yeah. Now that's a bright light. Check that out. What's really cool about this, you don't have to go and shut that light off. You just hit the button up on top and it'll shut it down. If I want to turn it back on again, hit that button. There's a couple second delay and then it pops right back on. But you can hear this fan starting to kick on because if this thing starts to overheat or wants to overheat, well, it'll automatically cool itself down. But check this out. This is where I was sort of surprised. No. No. Yes. I'll just take my extension cord, plug it in like so. Plug that sweet, sweet guitar amp in. After that workout, I think I need to sip of my dew. Please note that the TRZ Review Channel is not sponsored by Mountain Dew or any other company. Why? Because nobody likes us. Wait a minute, let me take that back. Sometimes I think VCG Construction might like me, but I could be wrong about that too. Now as awesome as that was, there are some limitations to this and they specifically state it right on the package. This is only meant for smaller things. Charging your phones, maybe spotting deer with your spotlight, jamming out on your guitar. Watching television, keeping your phone charged so you can write citations to all the hard workers out on the field. Safety guy. One of the limitations is one that a lot of people were hoping this would work on. The coffee machine. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. I was hoping maybe one of those fancy water heat machines from a ramen noodles or an espresso, but they just draw too much. If I turn this on, you can see it'll flash on for a second, but it just does not last. And if you keep that on, well, basically you're going to get this. The red light saying, uh-uh, you ain't drinking no coffee. Now that may be a bummer for you, but not for me because I drink the do, because I'm a man. That said, if you were using it for the right thing, this thing is really freaking awesome. I was surprised I was able to get so many uses out of it. I can run my lighting, I can charge my phones, I can charge my laptops, I can do a lot of different things, all by the comfort of my soft horse. Now it's definitely heavy duty, you got a great build up there. Again, you got that fan right here, so if you are starting to overheat a little bit, well you got that fan right there that'll help cool it down, it's nice to see that. I would use a larger battery. Again, you can use any battery. I've tried this with the 3.0 high output. I like the high outputs because they seem like they give it a little bit more oomph. But again, anything will work. And like a lot of others ask, could you charge your other batteries with it? Yeah, I thought that was really cool that you could charge your other batteries. I like that they added the C port here because you can use that for a lot of different things. I like the USB. For the size of this, I would have liked to have seen at least one more dedicated USB but the outlet is a really nice touch. Obviously, you're gonna get a lot of uses out of that, but again, I still would've liked to have seen at least one more USB somewhere on this thing. And if you know your limitations, again, which they point out very specifically on the packaging, and if you realize that you're not going to be able to run any major kitchen appliance or jumpstart your car with it, I think you're gonna be really happy with it. Now, I wanna know what you think about this. Do you like it? What would you change about it if you could change anything or maybe you think it's perfect the way it is? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I love hearing your feedback. Now we are under 4,000 away from the 100,000 subscriber mark. I would love to have you part of this channel. So get subscribed, hit that bell notification if you like Milwaukee or if you like power tools in general because we're gonna have a lot more videos coming your way. And if you could smash that like button. <laughs> Awesome. I'm also going to leave a video right here for you to check out. I always appreciate you stopping by. With that, we'll be back with more videos soon.